as I mentioned, one of the key elements in this collection is concave and convex. And here I have a bangle and a bracelet that shows the opposite of these two. Here we have a concave bangle, which shows individual arowana scales overlapping, which is kind of like a dome shape. And here on the other side, we have the convex bracelet. This bracelet can move freely and you'll be able to see one scale move over the other, which also makes it very comfortable to wear. When you put these two items together on your wrist, you'll be able to see the difference between the concave and the convex, which is something really interesting this year. Another example of concave and convex that we have is this beautiful pendant over here. Um, it's actually a pendant and a brooch together. So very suitable for those who are wearing it during Raya. And in this pendant, it kind of looks like a flower, but the inspiration is actually individual overlapping scales so you can see the high polish of the concave which makes it very shiny especially from afar and you have the concave diamond pieces which adds a really nice contrast so what happens once we've confirmed a design well what we do is we work together with our in-house factory to produce 3D drawings of the actual piece of jewelry. This process can also be called CAD or Computer Aided Design. Once we're happy with the 3D design on screen, it will then be printed out and some designs that we produce in a larger quantity, we create the rubber mold. Now, once the rubber mold is done, we continue to the wax tree. So for example, each of these scales, you'll be able to see each of these pieces being assembled on the wax tree. We then move on to casting, which is a process of taking all the components of the design and casting it into gold and other alloys. After all the pieces of jewelry come together, we then move on to the stone setting process. And this is where the diamonds and gemstones are individually set by hand. We're reaching towards the end of the manufacturing process, which is the polishing of the jewelry. And this is where the craftsman refines the pieces of jewelry to really make sure that you can see the shine come out. Especially in our concave and convex designs, there's a lot of metal or gold being shown. And this is where the polishing process is very important to make it look shiny. The finishing touches on the piece of jewelry would be the electroplating or the rhodium plating process. Now, once that's done, it goes through a rigorous quality control process to make sure that everything is up to our standards. After that, you'll be able to see the beautiful piece of jewelry out in the Habib showrooms. very original designs that you won't find anywhere else. Now that we've come towards the end of the video, I hope you learned something new and you enjoyed learning about the manufacturing and designing process. And I'm pretty sure that these pieces would be a conversation starter.